My dear students, generally work for energy problems of this type are done by using differentiation and integration. There is dW is equal to F into dx, which is very difficult for especially neat students. I have got a simple shortcut for you people. What do you have to do here? Yeah, you have to find out when y is equal to 0 means you have to keep y is equal to 0 here then you will get f is equal to 20 newtons then you have to keep y is equal to 1 then you will get f2 is equal to 20 plus 10 which is equal to 30 newtons then you can find out work done is nothing but average force into displacement average force means you have to take average of 20 and 30 that is nothing but 20 plus 30 by 2 which is 25 newtons therefore you have to write 25 into displacement from 0 to 1 is 1 your answer is going to be 25 joules. So simple method it is. Friends, these type of problems are regularly asked in work for energy regarding graphs. It is a force and displacement graph. If you find out the area of a graph, you will get work done. So first area, if you want to find out, area is A1, which is rectangle length into breadth. That means 3 into 3 is going to be 9 here. So remaining part is a triangle, which is taken as area A2, which is half into base into height which is half into base is how much? 3 into height is 3 again. 3 3 is 9 which is nothing but 4.5 here. Okay. So 9 plus 4.5 gives you 13.5. So the same method we use here also. Here also rectangle and triangle is there. So this gap is nothing but 4. 4 2 is 8 here. And this is a triangle which is nothing but half into uh, gap is 5 here. So 5 into height is 2 here. That is 2 2 gets cancelled. So 8 plus 5. 8 plus 5 is going to be 13 joules. That's it. Dear students, this is a previous year neat question. I am going to solve in a super simple way without using complex integrations and differentiations, especially for neat students. Mass is given in grams. I am converting into kgs. And he has given the displacement in terms of an equation. Uh, I am doing only one simple thing that I am differentiating displacement with respect to time. I am getting velocity as this equation after differentiating then i'll take time t is equal to 0 up substitute here then i'll get v1 is equal to 3 meter per second again i'll take t is equal to 4 i'll substitute here i'm getting 19 meter per second after that i use work energy theorem to solve this problem that means i'll write half into mass is 3 into 10 power minus 3 is equal to 19 square minus 3 square if i do this one i'm getting 530 milli joules here approximately Thank you very much. Dear students, today I am going to discuss a work for energy problem, especially without using integration and differentiation for neat students. You can just see, here it is given that displacement is 1 by 3 t square. And he has given the mass and he is giving to find out the work done in 2 seconds. You can find out uh, work done is equal to force into displacement, which is nothing but mass into acceleration into displacement. Here you can just substitute the value of t and find out displacement here, okay. So displacement is nothing but 4 by 3 meters. And acceleration you have to find out. For that, generally differentiation if you do double time you will get acceleration but without using differentiation I am going to do here. So this 1 by 3 d square I will write like this half into 2 by 3 into I am modifying this and writing half into 2 by 3 because anyhow this will get that one only. Therefore we will write this as half a t square with this it is understood that a is nothing but 2 by 3 here. Yeah directly substitute here now. W is equal to how much 3? A is how much 2 by 3 and displacement is how much? 4 by 3 gets cancelled your answer is 8 by 3 joules. This simple method here, that's it.